Hey guys, this is going to be my final installation in the weather app mini series I'm doing. Um, this one isn't kind of, this isn't really a weather application in the same sense that the other ones are, whereas they show you uh, local conditions and weather forecasts and whatnot. This one is a specialty app that's um, dedicated just to monitoring hurricanes. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, then this is a pretty cool app to get. It's uh, called Hurricane HD, and basically it does, like I said, it's a uh, application that allows you to monitor both active and past storms that have occurred, and it kind of gives you a cool little overview, um, including maps, tracks, uh, information about each storm. So here on the main screen, we're going to have some information about uh, the storms that have already occurred this season. You're going to have uh, when the season starts, the hurricane season. It started June 1st and it ends November 30th. And then here on the left we have uh, kind of a list that will show you active storms. Now right here in the, the Atlantic um, we don't have any active uh, hurricanes yet or tropical storms or depressions as of yet but over in the Pacific it's a different story we have uh, quite a few um, completed and there's still one active it's actually a category 2 currently so this is the active storm tab and this is the completed storm tab so all you gotta do is you gotta click on the storm and then it's gonna bring up a uh, quick little overview of the uh, current conditions associated with the storm at this moment updated 5 p.m. today um, you got winds of 100 miles per hour 972 millibars of pressure it's moving uh, west at not 8 miles per hour and that's got its current uh, coordinates and then down here we have uh, some more information we can get into we can look at the tracking map which is pretty cool and it's going to give you a uh, little overview of its uh, projected path and where it's already been. You can zoom in and out to get a better uh, detailed uh, picture. And then it's got little arrows where you can actually... Well, I guess we're going in reverse now. But you got little arrows where it will actually step up the progress of the uh, storm. And... Uh, it'll change the projected uh, intensity you know wind uh, speed also as you step up its progression as you can see the uh, wind speeds changing it's 115 miles an hour at this projected point and it goes down to 105 85 and then finally 65 and that's the end of the projected path for this storm it doesn't look like it's going to cause too much trouble because it's going uh, westward uh, away from any uh, land into the North Pacific Ocean. So that's kind of a cool little uh, display. We can go into map mode and that's going to just give a uh, kind of a Google or Bing Maps overview or overlay over the uh, information here. We can get out of that and we can go into satellite which is another cool map it gives you. It's going to show you um, obviously the, the satellite image of the storm directly from the National Weather Service website. So here you see the, the storm uh, and then kind of the uh, parts that it's left behind here. And here it shows you the uh, wall clouds, the intensity of the uh, wall clouds that are currently in the storm. Then we have radar. And this is going to obviously show you a uh, little map with the radar, the radar image of the uh, hurricane. Or not. I guess it's too far off the coast to uh, uh, actually read for the radar to reach so I guess it's just giving a uh, radar image of of the uh, coast coastal boundaries the west coast 
Then we have the forecast tab down here, <coughs> which uh, I'm assuming is just going to give you, yeah, the National Weather Service's uh, forecast map for the hurricane. So this is all information that you can, you know, go and search on the National Weather Service or NOAA uh, website. But this application is neat in that it kind of brings it all together for you in this one application for each specific storm. So that's pretty neat. Then you got your your bulletins tab, which is going to give you any of National Weather Service's uh, advisories or warnings for the storm. I just click on one of these tabs to get the advisory. So that's pretty cool. And uh, that's basically how you look at a storm. And this active storm is going to show, or rather the past storms are going to show up just like the active storm where you're going to be able to look at all this information that was associated with the storm and um, you can actually go to past storms down here and what it's going to let you do is scroll through the years and you can go back you know pretty far 1949 it has a couple storms you know, just a lot of information that this application allows you to view you know, go to 1965 you can go to a uh, Hurricane Anna. We'll see the um, the track for this storm. So I mean, it's just pretty cool in that you know it gives you this information for every storm that's ever occurred in uh, recent history, all the way back to uh, the 50s. And now here we have um, a news tab. I guess we're just gonna give current hurricane associated news. Um, then we're going to have a satellite tab. I guess it's just going to give a uh, general satellite image of of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. And of course, you can also choose the uh, Pacific Ocean. Then we have an about or uh, preference tab here. It's going to give you a uh, some of the information about the developers Kitty Code LLC and it's going to give you uh, the credits for the application uh, you can follow them on Facebook or follow them on Twitter using the links in the application so that's a quick overview of the Hurricane HD application for the iPad I strongly recommend this application for anyone interested in uh, hurricane information it's a very uh, detailed and it has a great user interface. It's, it's a lot of fun to play around with and, and monitor hurricanes current and also hurricanes past. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.